Okay friends, it's time to get started on our job. One of the first things you want to do is safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheels off the ground with the suspension hanging. After that, assuming you have hubcaps, carefully remove them. Once that's out of the way, we're going to continue on to each of our 17 millimeter lug studs. Keep in mind, these are lug studs, so as you remove them, they're going to have a shank with threading. When you remove the last one, there's going to be nothing holding the wheel on. Now, once you've taken out one, go ahead and put it in a couple threads, and then you can remove the other four. Remove your wheels, set it aside. Making your way down along the front, you're going to find several T25 screws. You'll find one here in the corner. And now you'll find four more making their way down along the side. Now you can let this hang down and we can continue on up inside of the wheel well for the rest. Now let's make our way inside the wheel well, start removing all of our T25 bolts. Let's get this one right here. Now we can carefully start removing this. There it is friends. It's common to find dirt and debris up in this area. Just go ahead and clean it out of there. Now we can get our new fender liner installed. Let's start putting this in place. We can start lining up all of our bolt holes. Looking at the bottom of the original liner, you're going to find that you have a whole bunch of these metallic tabs. 
we need to go ahead and remove them from the original and install them onto the new. The easiest way to go about doing that is with a small pocket screwdriver. We're gonna carefully get underneath this area, gently try to pry it apart, and also try to pry it off of there at the same time. We'll give it a quick inspection. The next thing you wanna do is use some pliers. We'll squeeze this together a little bit, and then of course we'll reinstall it onto the new assembly. Slide that right on there. Make sure your holes are lined up. And let's continue on doing the same to all. After that, we can get it in place and start putting in our mounting screws. Now we can start putting in our mounting screws. All right, now we can go ahead and get our wheel back up on here. Let's line up all of our holes. We can put in all five of our lug studs. We'll bottom them out, get the wheel safely back on the ground, and then we'll torque each of these to 89 foot pounds. Torqued. Of course, if you have a hubcap, go ahead and put it on now. Pay attention to the valve stem hole. Go ahead and line that up and push it on. Okay, friends, we got the car back together. What's left to do now? Now, of course, you're going to want to make sure you take it for a nice road test and listen for any funny noises. Thanks for watching.